Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. And today, I want to talk about mix sets, but more specifically, how you can go about making your own mix set. Next week marks the return of Mix Set Monday, and with that, I'll be sharing some of my mix sets with you guys, as well as giving you the opportunity to submit your own to be featured in upcoming episodes. But before that, I wanted to put together a video going over the general creation process, so that those of you that are new to the series can also get involved in building these yourself. A mix set is essentially a mishmash of different armor pieces from different monsters, with the end goal being that you get a much more focused or useful set of skills than you'd otherwise get on a complete set. Now to be clear, there are merits to both. Full sets offer set bonuses, and thanks to the new beta system, you can also get some freedom to customize these further with decorations. But if you really want to min-max and pick skills that specifically benefit your playstyle or your weapon choice, then mixing your sets affords you much greater control. And thanks to the new armor skill system in Monster Hunter World, mixing sets has never been easier, and it's also opened up the doors to some truly awesome combinations. Now in previous games, if you wanted to do this, you typically use a third party app that would allow you to input the skills you're looking for, and it'll suggest a load of possible armor combinations. But this time you don't need that, because that system, or at least something very close, is actually present in game. If you head to the smithy, go over to Forge Equipment and select Armor, and then click R3 to bring up the sorting menu. If you scroll to the bottom and select Skills, it'll bring up a big table with all the different armor skills in game. Now with this here, you can read through a load of them and see what they do, and decide if it's something you're interested in or not. But more importantly, if you then select a skill, let's take Attack Boost. It'll then sort the armor list, and any piece of armor that has that skill will be highlighted in yellow. So instantly, you have a way of identifying which pieces of armor are relevant to your interests. Now admittedly yes, in order for this to be useful, you need to have an idea of what skills you want in the first place, and you can work that out either by looking through the list and picking things that provide you with certain boosts, or you could take recommendations from other people. But to give you an example, I'm going to very quickly show you the process I'd go through to put something together. This set I'm currently wearing is my Sleep Bombing Sword and Shield set. I'll be doing a video on this at some point soon, but for the time being, let's aim to rebuild this. The first thing you want to do is you want to start with a blank slate. So what I always do is go to my equipment box and I unequip all of my items. The reason you want to do this is because when you start equipping items or previewing items in the smithy, you can check out the armor skills and of course if you have things pre-equipped then the skill list is going to include things you're wearing plus the things you're previewing at the time. So it's going to give you a bit of a convoluted list and it won't be as clear. So in this situation you remove the charms and of course if you do have something in your weapon then you can also drop that. So for the time being let's just go with this. So once you've done that you then go over to the smithy and you then go to forge equipment armor and you sort by skills. Now given that I'm recreating my sleep bombing sword and shield set, the first thing that I want to do is I want to go after a skill that'll boost my sleep application. That skill is sleep attack. This one increases the rate of sleep build up. Of course if I have level 3 it means that the sleep build up percentage is increased so ultimately I can make the monsters fall asleep faster. This is going to become the crux of this build. So I'm going to search for this to begin with. So as you can see, right here, there are four pieces available to me. There's the Radaban Alpha set and the Radaban Beta set. Now in this situation, I'm going to go with the Beta chest piece, simply because it has Sleep Attack level 1 on it, plus it also gives me a gem slot, and I'm really not interested in Bleeding Resistance provided by the Alpha set. So if you press Square, you can preview this, but also if you then press the touchpad and you tab over to the Equipped Skills, it'll also show you what skills you are currently wearing based on the armor that you are previewing. So you can basically build your set whilst you're in this menu and see all the skills that are available and then get an idea of where to go from there. So now we have the chest piece, I do still want to have the other piece because I want to make sure I max out that sleep. So I'm going to go for the alpha arms because that will give me sleep attack plus 2 and that will then mean I have sleep at level 3. Now of course yes in situations like this I could you know, make up for some of that with some decorations to fill the gaps so it frees me up to use other armor pieces or I could use a charm. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to go and equip these two pieces of armor. Bear in mind, again, I have the layered armor set on for the samurai gear, so you won't see them. But I am now wearing these, so if I press the trackpad again, I currently have Sleep Attack level 3, which means I have the maximum possible build up. Plus, I have Guard level 1 because it just came with the arms. Now, this is a skill I'm not that interested in, but, you know, sometimes you're going to get this in the process of putting things together. You'll get a few extra things. And given that I do have a shield, Guard level 1 isn't necessarily a bad thing to have anyway. So, now that I have sleep, I need to think about what else I would like. Now, as a Sword and Shield user, I do like to have the evasion skill. I like evade windows simply because if I put the monsters to sleep and I place down bombs, I can then slice those bombs to detonate them, roll out with the evade window, and not get hit in the blast. So again, I'm going to go and search for skills, and I'm going to look for evade window. I can see over here right away that the King Beetle 
beta helmet has a vague window level 2 in. I already have this helmet, but if I equip this, this will then give me evade window level two on top of everything else I have. Now, I happen to have an evade charm, so I know that I don't need to put any more points into evade. I don't need to look for gauntlets or a waist or legs. I know that I can then fill in the remaining gaps or at least to go as far as I need to. I don't actually need evade window level five. I'm happy with evade window level three or four because that's plenty for me to do a bomb detonate and roll. So on the evade front, I am now complete. I have a helmet, I have a chest piece, I have arms. So I now have the waist and the legs left to fill. So the question is, what else would I like? And at this point, there are plenty of things I could do. I could go towards attack boost. I can go towards skills that will maintain my sharpness, given that I attack quite fast and I go through things. I could go towards skills like mind's eye. But for the time being, I'm gonna go and throw in a little bit of attack boost because, hey, it doesn't hurt. You know, you might as well fill in some gaps with that. So I'm gonna throw in the Nogagante coil because this is again an item that I have in a fair few of my sets. So I can throw that in for a quick attack boost. And of course, if I have an additional gem, everybody, once you get further in the game, will at least have one attack boost gem. You could, of course, bolster this further with, say, an attack charm. But for the time being, this will then give me a little bit of additional attack on my set. Now, there is one thing that I do want on top of this, and that is the Bombardier skill, because this is going to help with my bomb explosions. This basically gives me increased damage of explosive items. So when I'm setting bombs, I'm doing more damage. And given this whole set revolves around sleep bombing, this is also an important skill. So I can go with this. I can scroll down and see that the Basil Geese legs provide me with Bombardier level two. So if I then equip them and I then go to preview, you can now see that I have a full set of armor, helmet, arms, legs, waist, and chest. And this is currently what I have. I have sleep attack level three, attack boost level two, evade window level two, Bombardier level two, and guard level one. Now this is not complete, bear in mind, once I've done this, you're then free to slot things in. At this point in the creation process, you can't test out putting gems into things because of course you need to actually own the pieces. But at least as the base goes, I now have a foundation for my mix set. These are the pieces that I want and these are the skills that I want to go towards. So I then go off and farm the parts, I craft the parts, I get everything I want to, and then we get over to the part where I want to start gemming in some decorations. So as you can see over here, what I've then done, as mentioned, is thrown on the evasion charm to bolster the additional evasion portion of my set to give me evade window level four. And the other thing that I've done is thrown in a bomber jewel so that I have bombardier level three, max explosive damage. I've thrown in that attack jewel to bolster that up by one level. And I actually have a pretty handy protective polish skill, which is the set bonus from the auto garden armor, which means that my weapon sharpness doesn't decrease after a set time. And this is incredibly useful because of course, as a sword and shield user, you do go through sharpness quite fast. I've also got a spare slot, so there's some room to improve this set, but ultimately, that is how I've now ended up at the set that I currently have. This now means that I have a Vague Window level 4, Attack Boost level 3, Sleep Attack level 3, Bombardier level 3, Guard level 1, and Protective Polish. A nice set of skills for a sleep bombing set. And that, my friends, is how you put together a mix set. Now again, do bear in mind, there are lots of things you wanna keep in mind. Of course, there are plenty of different decorations and sometimes when you get rarer decorations or better decorations, it allows you to swap out certain pieces. So for example, I could ditch the Evasion Helmet, I could throw an Evasion Jewel and that would then free me up to have a helmet that could provide me with another skill. Or alternatively, I could then gem in some of that sleep attack and I could drop the arms or drop the chest piece in favor of something that gives me a bigger attack boost or something that gives me handicraft. There's so many different options and there is no one best set, but at least if you want to build something for yourself, using this and using the tools that are in game, you can definitely start to piece something together that'll benefit you much better than you might get if you just craft a set outright. So. For the time being, that's it. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions, by all means, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you keep it locked because on Monday marks the return of the Mixed Set Monday series. I'll be launching it with a few cool sets for you guys to check out. And then of course, I'll be opening up the doors for you guys to submit your sets for future episodes. So keep it locked for that. But for the time being, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.